hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i transformed this pair of sandals into something completely different by just using some cords so this pair of sandals has been sitting in my closet for the longest time um it's never been worn it's one of those things that you just buy and just forget about it so i figured maybe if i do a little bit of a transformation i've been more inclined into wearing them so without talking too much, let's jump right into it. So to start with, I have strung up um, a few of the cords um, on my wooden spoon. Yeah, wooden spoon. Um, I didn't have anything else I could use, so I figured I'd just improvise and yeah, I mean it works, right? So I've strung up uh, a few um, cords. I think altogether I've got 26 here. And uh, that's the exact length that will cover the end, the entire width of the sandal. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I did the headlax knot. What you need to do is fold your, the length of cords that you have into two and then loop it through the back of your dowel if you have one and pull the cord through to make your headlax knot like so, okay? The length of the cords that I'm using will be uh, somewhere on the screen right now so what I'm gonna do next is try to find a way to elevate um, the wooden spoon off of the surface which is going to make it a little easier for me to do the knots that I need to do um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that right up and I'll be right back ignore the tissue paper guys just ignore it and let's just keep it moving um, so um, to start with we're going to start by using the two extra headlocks knot that i did earlier on so these are going to be used to make the half stitch knots so that's what we're going to start with and we're going to do that all the way across our entire length of headlock knots so the first one you're going to take is going to be your guide so whilst you take the rest of the headlock knot to work through your guide until you actually finish um, working through all the way to the end so to do the first half stitch knot what you need to do is grab one of your headlock knot and loop it through like so so once you finish with one you drop that and then you move on to the next one in line and then you loop that through again once you finish with that you drop that and then you move on to the next one in line until you finish now we're going to repeat the same thing for the spare headlock knot um, that is to our right so that we're going to have two lines of half stitch knots going across and once we're through with that we can go on and move on to the next knot which is going to be uh, our berry knot and to do a berry knot what you need to know how to do um, is uh, square knot so to make a berry knot we're going to start with a square knot so during the square knot you need to start working from the left to the right so you're going to take the first four piece of strings and you make a figure four on top of the center too and take the string in your right hand over and loop that through the back and pull out from your left side to make a square knot so now what you need to do next is repeat that same process but working from the right to the left so once you finish doing that you're gonna have yourself a full square knot I'm going to slow the video right down at this point so you can understand exactly how to do the square knots. So for this project, I decided to do um, five full square knots to make my berry knot because the core is quite small. So the more square knots you have, the bigger your berry knot will be.
so once you finish doing your berry knot five berry knots then you take the center two piece cord and pass it through the middle like so and then do one last half square knot to just tie it in place i hope that makes sense so just go ahead and repeat that until you've done your berry knots all the way across back to square one guys i've decided to return to working on a flat surface because it wasn't quite easy to do the berry knots you know whilst being elevated Once we've done with the berry knot, we're going to repeat the half stitch knots at the bottom again to match the pattern at the top. So this time around, we're not going to add additional string. We're going to be using the leftover cords to use our, as our guide to make the half stitch knots this time around. So just go ahead and make two lines of half stitch knots like so. So once that's done we're pretty much done so what's left is for us to just trim away all the excesses and also tie up any loose ends before we pull our project away from the dowel or the spoon or whatever it is that you're using all you now need to do is unravel the how i'm um, the head lax knot bit and then snip it through the center like so what we need to now do is give it a good trim um, you need to trim the ends to the size that you desire um, and once you've done that then it's time for you to comb the fringes out once you're happy with the look of your uh i don't know what to call this we are ready to go on to the next step which is now to have it laid on to the pair of sandals so for me i'm using uh, a hot glue gun so just go ahead and put a generous amount onto the surface where you would like to glue these two and hold it down for a few seconds to allow the glue to set in and that's pretty much it just go ahead and glue everything down and that's it our project is done i think it is uh, a very simple way but very effective way of um uplifting this pair of sandals i think it looks it, it looks pretty nice and i'm ready for summer somebody just needs to invite me to a barbecue now so i can wear my new pair of sandals thank you for watching guys i hope to see you in my next video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button